Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are doing good children. So uh, today we are here to start our second unit, uh, Environment. Okay, uh, so actually we have successfully finished our unit 1. So we just moved on to our unit number 2. And stay home, be productive children, do productive things like watching video classes and following the live sessions. I hope you all are doing it. I know you will do that. So let's get started our today's video class. So the first thing in the in this first video, I just want to mention. I just want to. I would like to uh, teach you about the environment, isn't it? What is uh, an environment is all about and things, isn't it? The surroundings which we have, we can call it as the environment that we have. We have to keep our environment clean because if we did not do such kind of things like the cleaning surroundings or doing uh, natural things or something like that what will happen obviously the nature the environment will take action on what we have done and i hope you understood what is environment so for this even environment the wildlife and uh, the forests water everything parts in it and i hope you all i hope i hope you all know that right so coming to that i just want to give you a kind of project or you can call it as activity that is called project tiger the title is project tiger and i could you could see here uh, yes project tiger actually that's launched in 1973 and uh, administrated by the National Tiger uh, Conservation Authority that means NTCA is aimed to at conserving the population of tigers in India as part of this project select wildlife sanctuaries have been identified as tiger reserves that's what you have to do children Okay, I mean, take the wildlife sanctuaries identify, uh, identified as tiger reserves under Project Tiger. So this is uh, Project Tiger that's held in, launched in 1973. And in that, you have to do is that, take the wildlife sanctuaries identified as tiger reserves. Isn't it? You may look up this sanctuary and uh, pox on the internet so please look at and uh, get some information of the particular sanctuaries a pox on internet you can find the information on internet please go through the internet and find out the information and try to answer this and tick the mark okay the first national park is Ga national park and uh, Peria national park Manus National Park, Keolodio National Park, Jim Corbett National Park, National Chambal Sanctuary, and uh, uh, Ranthambore National Park, Katharnath Wildlife Sanctuary. For this particular eight things, it can the sanctuaries or parks. So you have to look about it find out on the internet you can get the lot of information and take the mark if whether it is wildlife sanctuary identified as tiger reserves or not okay children i hope you will do that and let's move on to the activity number two fill in the missing letters to complete the stems related to living uh, organisms and the environment environment okay so actually here we have some clues and you can easily find out the answer the surroundings where different plants and animals live is there yes h dash dash i dash 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 so we have to fill in the particular missing letters there are five missed letters we have to find out yes the clue is here 
the surroundings where different plants and animals live is their habitat yes h a b i t a t i hope you got it and let's move on to the second one any special feature that allows a living organism to survive in its surroundings is called it's very easy adaptation what is that adaptation the spelling of the word is a d a p t a t i o n adaptation okay children i hope you got it and the third one is really as easy an animal that is hunted for food by another animal is called their prey p r e y obviously we know that i think you in the science you can know all these things any animals that hunts other animals for food is called the predator p r e d a t o r predator isn't it any animal that hunts other animals for food is called the predator even the human right yes the relation of plants and living creatures to each other and their environment is called yes very easy ecosystem or ecosystem someone says and the spelling of the word is e c o s y s t e m ecosystem and i hope you got the answers for that and i hope you will learn it please do learn and i will give as the worksheet also yes and coming is the next activity take a political map of india and shade in the states in which the eight wildlife sanctuaries mentioned above are found so we already discussed the eight wildlife sanctuaries or the parks so find out where you have found the states to share it okay children on a map on a political map i i think you got it i hope you all will do the children and coming to the a the brook what is that the brook the brook the b r o o k it's not brook it's just a brook the brook is a small river actually okay and it's a kind of personification we could say that and the river itself speaking to us and there are a lot of things which a river gives messages to the humans and i'll give you this poem as a song please listen the song carefully and understand the words okay children please do that listen carefully and you have to open your book while the song is going on isn't it children yes take it ha oh, i come from haunts of coot and hern i make a sudden sally and sparkle out among the fern to bicker down a valley by 30 hills i hurry down or slip between the ridges by 20 thorps a little town and half a hundred bridges till last by philip's farm i flow to join the brimming river for men may come and men may go but i go on forever i chatter over stony ways in little shops and trebles i bubble into eddying bays i babble on the pebbles with many a curve my banks i fret by many a field and fallow and many a fairy foreland set with willow weed and mallow i chatter chatter as i flow to join the brimming river for men may come and men may go but i go on forever i wind about and in and out with here a blossom sailing and here and there a lusty trout 
And here and there a grayling. And here and there a foamy flake upon me as I travel. With many a silvery water break above the golden gravel. And draw them all along and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I steal by lawns and grassy plots. I slide by hazel covers. I move the sweet forget-me-nots that grow for happy lovers. I slip, I slide, I glue my glance among my skimming swallows. I make the netted sunbeam dance against my sandy shallows. I murmur under moon and stars in brambly wildernesses. I linger by my shingly bars. I loiter round my cresses. And out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go. But I go on forever.